Let the peace, love, and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God's kindness endures forever. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader of Lumba, or Lumba, or Buddha, supernatural teacher. Spiritual food. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 15. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, He that dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth though, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God, for the administration of this service not only supplies the want of the saints but is abundant also by many thanksgivings unto God whilst by the experiment of this ministration they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ and for your liberal distribution unto them and unto all men and by their prayer for you which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Be a cheerful giver. Quote, brethren, this is the first time in the history of creation in which the earth and the heavens are rejoicing that there is peace on earth. The Father has bestowed peace and good gifts unto the entire mankind. No more luck. No more sorrow, tribulation, or court case. Every odd thing has been reformed to perfection. All those who left their sick ones at home, their health have been restored. You have actually done well. For God's time is the best of time. Do not pray and request for anything from God again for he has already done greatly for you witness Romans chapter 13 verses 8 to 10 oh no man anything but to love one another 
For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not be a false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Love thy neighbor. Henceforth, anyone who wishes to come out here and read any text should make sure that he is prepared to read it well. I will no longer tolerate any poor reading. Once you make mistake while reading here, then do not read again. I would prefer two people to be elected in the whole brotherhood world who should be responsible for reading all biblical texts as long as it would be perfect presentation for this embarrassment is too great. Our God is not a God of inconsistency or confusion or forgetfulness and he is not a God who supplies man's need today and discontinues the next day. His grace is sufficient unto all of us in the morning, in the afternoon and night. He supplies unto you evilly even when you do nothing to benefit such grace. Therefore, his children have to emulate him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father's blessing. Now, the Father would bless you all, including those who do not wish to be blessed. All your debtors have now destroyed their debts. Court cases have been struck off. The unemployed have been employed. Hypertension, diabetes, AIDS, rheumatism, cancer, and other sicknesses, no matter how chronic they are, the Father has finally wiped them off. Those who are incapable of settling their rent, now have it settled. Children, husbands, wives have been given to those who are seeking for them. He has elevated you in your business, giving you wisdom, might, ability, and has finally reformed you all unto himself. I am not marveled at what I see, but you would be surprised because last Friday the father pronounced that he has opened ways for all his children. No child of God in the entire world would live in want. Neither shall they die nor take ill. In all their aspiration, they are made to be successful, be it chairmanship or governorship or presidency or chieftaincy or whatever field of endeavor because the children of God are to control all governmental positions. We should rise up and exhibit competence in rendering service unto God. 
For now is the time of God's glory. The children of God would no longer be cheated or be oppressed. All problems have been taken away and God has changed you all and has made you worthy for this kingdom and nobody shall take it away from you now and forevermore go the father is before you and the father is behind you amen end of quote peace in the name of our lord jesus christ amen thank you father